We do have breaking news this hour. One of the tightest races in the U.S. is over tonight. Utah's 4th Congressional District won by Republican challenger Burgess Owens. The Congressman-elect Owens is now with us, making his first public comment since winning the seat. Congressman-elect, thank you so much for being with us. We appreciate your time. Thank you, Glenn. Look forward to chatting with you for sure. Okay, let's uh, get right into this. This was a hotly contested race, a heated campaign. Here we are almost two weeks from the election. How does it feel right now to have this over with? It is it's a very good, good, good feeling. I want to say this too. I had a, a very nice talk with Ben. Uh, classy, classy conversation from him uh, in terms of his uh, uh, congratulating me and also making the point that he wanted to make sure this transition is, is going to be a, a smooth one. And I really do appreciate that in a big way. So I feel, I feel first of all, excited about the fact that I have a chance to, to represent this great district. Uh, my goal at the end of the day, no matter what side of the aisle we find ourselves on, is to be one in which I'm listening, uh, serving, and, 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 and no matter, again, where we stand, that you respect, and I know that you know I respect your opinions, at the same time, I'm going to do everything I can to really help you be proud of, uh, of the representation we get back in D.C. So I'm excited about this process and very, very proud to be representing uh, District 4. Okay, Burgess, I want to get into something a little more what you just hit on. You said it was a very uh, cordial conversation between you and McAdams. That was not the tone of the campaign. So how important is it to come together and work together now and, and put that negative and nasty tone uh, behind you now? Well, you know, and this is what we do best. You know, the power of we the people is that we can agree to disagree. We can have very vigorous uh, debates. But at the end of the day, if we care about our country, we care about the end game, we can come together and, and move forward. And so that's what I appreciate about Utahns, number one. Uh, we truly do want to have conversations, and sometimes we might not agree on what it, what it looks like. But, but our end game is making sure our kids have a much better future, our country comes together, that we're not divisive, that we truly do see each other inside out, not outside in. Mm -hmm. I feel so strong that, that what you, that's what Utahns do. And that's what we're going to do moving forward. So I'm thankful to be at this point, for this, this point where we can move forward. Sure. Burgess, you're part of an incoming freshman class of uh, Republicans that flipped seats. It could be upwards of 12 by the time it's all said and done. What do you make of this incoming Republican freshman class? I'm so excited about the message that we're bringing. And, I, and Glenn, we talked a little bit beforehand. Uh, I played in Super Bowl 15, and I remember sitting in the locker room just before going out of the game. And looking around the locker room after all the years of losing and thinking, I, I cannot believe I'm sitting here with these guys, these all-stars, you know, getting ready to go out to play the biggest game of my life. I feel the same way with, with this freshman team. They're all-stars. They're here for the right reasons, not to be career politicians or lobbyists. We want to bring our country back with the values that are Utah. And I cannot wait. I'm just, again, I'm, I'm, I'm humble, excited. And, and I, I just want to say I appreciate Utahns. Again, no matter what side of the aisle we're on, we were engaged. We went out and voted. And uh, let's now make sure that we're the best represent representation of, of our country that we can give, give, uh, give, give our nation at this, at this point. But Burgess, this is also a diverse class coming in. Is this a turning point for the Republican <laughs> Party in your view? It is the big, it is the tent we talk about, whether it be from Ukraine or Cuba, or, you know, Hispanic, black, it doesn't matter. Uh, you know, and this is the point that I'm, I'm making about Utahns because one thing that we did not talk about was not an issue here was race, was color. We talked about policies as much as we could. Uh, we tried to make our point about our vision for our future, and that's the way America should be. So you're seeing coming in to the Republican Party a true diversity of look with the same unity in terms of our values. We love our country, we want our education. We'll make sure we get a, as far away as we can from socialism and, and the, the, the idea that our country is not a great country. We want, we want to heal our country, not continue to divide it. And this is a team that's going to give that message in a way that is going to be very, very unique. So I'm excited okay. about it, very humbled, and we're going to move, move forward with we it. We have about a minute left. What's next? What can we expect <laughs> from uh, uh, moving from Congressman-elect to Congressman Burgess Owens? What can we expect well, from Well, I'm, I'm fortunate to, to, first of all, the, the, the love language I share, the, the, the five love languages of service. As you're going to see me all over the place. You're going to see a lot of hustle. And again, I'm an open door and, a, and a, an open ear. I look forward to hearing all the, the thoughts and ideas and make sure I'm servicing you guys here in Utah back in D.C. I cannot wait for the opportunity, and I thank you again for, for, the, for the chance to do this. Okay, we appreciate your time tonight. Once again, the first time we are hearing publicly from Congressman-elect Burgess Owens. Uh, you're there for orientation now. You have a lot of work to do putting your team together uh, before you take the oath of office in January. So thanks so much for your time tonight. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Glenn, for the opportunity. Appreciate it. All right, Absolutely. and thank you for All joining that. us tonight. We will send you back now to your regularly scheduled programming. And we will see you back here tonight at 10 o'clock.